Is Call of Duty Black Ops 4 the worst out of all of the Black Ops games? Fondy, take it away. I don't know. I just make the shoes. All right. I'm gonna be playing Infected today. It's new, at least for me. I know they added it Tuesday. I haven't played it at all. I'm recording this on Friday. And I've never played this map either. Lockup must have been one of the new DLC maps. One of four and it's April. Putting my sass and my snark aside, we are gonna be talking about Black Ops 4 though. And whether or not it's the worst out of all the Black Ops games we've gotten. I thought I had a class. I guess we all, do we all have a default class? I guess I'll just figure out. I don't really care. As per usual, it's weird to play this because I don't really play Black Ops 4 at all. But I'm still asking the question, is it the worst out of all the Black Ops games? I honestly don't even know how much time I have in Black Ops 4. But I will say this, my opinion about this, it really doesn't matter all that much. It's just my opinion. It's just one person's opinion. I'm actually just really curious to hear what you guys have to say about this. Ooh, quick scope. So what I'm gonna do is after I upload this video, I'm gonna put out a poll. There's gonna be a poll on the community tab of my channel, and I will ask the question: which of the Black Ops games is the worst? Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, or Black Ops 4? I, I think I just had five fingers up. I'm here, come on. But that's the poll that you can go vote for. You can share your opinions over there. And in this video, I'll share with you guys my opinions about what I think is the worst. If you guys have been around the channel for quite a while, you'll actually know something pretty interesting. I hated Black Ops 1 when it was first out. Hated it. For me personally, it was really harsh to transition from Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer to Black Ops 1. For quite a while, a lot of explosives in Black Ops 1 were very weak because Black Jacket was so strong. It was because grenade launchers and Danger Close Pro were such a problem in Modern Warfare 2. So Treyarch went completely the opposite direction in Black Ops 1. Ultimately, it made it really hard to deal with people that were camping. Hi, no one. Oh, God! Oh my god, there's zombies. I just now realized that, wow. On top of that, Ghost Pro was just way too good in Black Ops 1. It was way too easy to just camp. And a lot of people wanted to pick the Ghost Perk because it gave you a ghillie suit. The motion sensors, the claymores. There was just a lot of really frustrating stuff that I did not like in Black Ops 1. I loved wager matches, I loved the zombies. The campaign was exceptional. But I personally just really didn't like the multiplayer all that much. But let's just say that looking back, I have a much more fond opinion of Black Ops 1. It was really an adapting period for me and I ended up getting better at the game over time. And at that time, I really just needed to work on controlling my toxicity and my rage. Out of all of these games, I think Black Ops 2 is one of the most solid all around. I don't even really have anything bad to say about it. Although it was modded to hell, which is not a good thing. Yeah, and the fact that people could actually remotely mod your account and derank your account, that was really stupid. Black Ops 2 definitely had some serious security problems that needed those patches. And I think that's definitely something that Black Ops 2 could have done better. If Treyarch had some better security patches, that would have been phenomenal. But the multiplayer, zombies, the campaign, league play, having an official party games playlist, theater mode, which Black Ops 1 actually introduced. Oh my god, a tomahawk to the head. I have to see this. That, that was amazing. Thanks for the mohawk, buddy. This music, what is this? I don't remember this music ever playing. What? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't get how infected works in this. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Cranky Stanky Dank. That's a name. Anyway, I think it's pretty safe to say that Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are not going to be my personal contenders for worst Black Ops game. And weirdly enough, it actually has a lot to do with the campaigns. Black Ops 1's campaign is phenomenal and Black Ops 2 followed it up very well. I love the branching storyline in Black Ops 2's campaign. Black Ops 2's campaign is awesome and it has great replay value. And I will always respect that about the old Black Ops games. Oh, they have these different classes. Oh, I see. But as I was going to say, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 are really the contenders for worst Black Ops games, in my opinion. My goodness, just kill him. Okay. Easier said than- Okay, I'm infected. <laughs> I wish that dude would have just killed him. I paid the price. Oh! <laughs> Take that, Shiner Rock. I don't know what it is about Black Ops 4. It's like the little bobbing thing you're doing when you're running. In the corner. Wow. What wow, nice there? spot. That was cranky, stanky dank. He's gonna be pretty cranky after that one. Oh, hello. Oh my god, I cannot throw a tomahawk to save my life. Just bop it all over the place. I can't aim it. I wish when you would run, you would just run smoothly. I don't know how I dealt with that over all my like time consistently playing. But yeah, let's dive into Black Ops 3. The game did have advanced movement, but it improved from Advanced Warfare's exosuits. Although personally, I would have preferred if the game was boots on the ground, but they would have had to tailor the maps differently. But regardless, I prefer the fact that Black Ops 4 is boots on the ground. Contraband Hurricane, what is this? Oh god, it's Florida. Are we really getting a hurricane right now? It's not even hurricane season. What? I didn't want to be Seraph, and I'm stuck with the sniper too. I'm not gonna kill anyone. Make me initial infected. I don't even want to try. The other thing Black Ops 3 happened to carry over from Advanced Warfare was supply drops. And to be honest, I hated variants in Advanced Warfare. I'm happy that Black Ops 3 didn't have variants, but they did put weapons exclusively in supply drops, which was dumb. I hate the fact that I'm constantly making noises. Did I have poison McDonald's? Why am I just going over here like... I don't want to hear it from my perspective. Can I just shut up and then the enemies can hear me? I don't know why it's triggering me so much. Maybe it's because I'm talking about Black Ops 3 supply drops and that triggers me as well. Just a big combination of triggers. I don't like it. But for real, Black Ops 3 microtransactions were pretty awful. It was extremely difficult to get those supply drop exclusive weapons and you ultimately felt left out when you couldn't get them. I was not a big fan of that. But putting exosuits and supply drops aside, there's an even bigger travesty about Black Ops 3. It's the freaking campaign. What is the first voice? Black Ops 3's campaign was just putrid. Absolute failure of a campaign. It did not truly follow up any kind of storyline from Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. And they really just tried too hard to make it like this cryptic campaign, this cryptic plot, where apparently the campaign was happening from different timelines, different perspectives. It was order chronological out of it was out of chronological order. It was just out of order. <laughs> that campaign was trash. I uh, I did not like it.
No. And even though I played a decent amount of Black Ops 3 and it did really well on YouTube, it definitely was not without flaws. Not a perfect COD game by any means. But I was really happy with the fact that they continued to have theater mode in the game. And even though it was like six or eight months late, they eventually had mod support on PC. There's probably some other really good things about Black Ops 3 that I'm forgetting, but those are just the ones that stand out to me right now. I made a little mini series about what I thought was really bad and good about Black Ops 3, so if you haven't seen those videos, you can look them up. I know you're right there. I know you're right there. Come on! Oh, what was that face? So finally, that leaves us with Black Ops 4. Since I'm on the game, I can look at all the features and stuff and just talk about that. I still, to this day, have not played Zombies in Black Ops 4, so I don't know if it's good or bad. Although the addition of Battle Royale sounded very cool from the start for Call of Duty, the inaccessibility of Blackout to the general public and also just the way that it has been handled by Treyarch over all of this time kind of has reversed my opinion about it a little bit. I personally feel like it would be better if COD had like a separate Battle Royale game that was free to play and have it be developed by a separate team so that way they can handle all of the content and the patches. There's so much time and effort put into Blackout for Black Ops 4 that it feels like it's taking away from the other modes in the game, especially multiplayer. It took Treyarch quite a while to add League Play into Black Ops 4 for the multiplayer. I don't really play League Play. I haven't played it in Black Ops 4 at all, but I did see from Charlie Intel that apparently it's doing pretty well. There's a lot of people actually playing, so I guess that's cool. But the bread and butter of Call of Duty, the multiplayer, is where the most controversy is. The Black Ops Pass has not brought us enough new multiplayer maps, and people don't even really care that much anyway. I don't even know where we stand as far as it goes for DLC maps for multiplayer. It's tough. They have been doing a good job of adding new game modes and having them in the featured playlist, but what happens when they remove your favorite new game mode and then replace it with something you don't like? It causes you to lose interest in the game. There's only so much to do and play in multiplayer, and these are the same game modes we've been playing for almost 10 years. Control is new, Heist is new, Safeguard is from Black Ops 3, Hardcore still doesn't even have Ricochet. Specifically for Black Ops 4, team killing in Hardcore has been really bad, it's just way too easy to do it and get kicked. And there's not even one separate Ricochet mode. There's no party game modes, there's no wager matches, there's no mods. Ultimately, the multiplayer is just not as good as it could be. It's the main reason I would pour so many hours and days into the multiplayer of other Call of Duty games, and Black Ops 4 is just lacking. And this is all pretty objective stuff, I haven't even talked about the addition of armor into the multiplayer and how that's divided players. But I'm gonna stop ranting and tell you personally what I think is the worst out of all of these games. Is it Black Ops 1, is it Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, or Black Ops 4? I'm gonna need the motherfucking drum roll before I give you my answer. I'm gonna have to go with Black Ops 3, and here's why. Black Ops 3 had advanced movement, it had the worst supply drop system, it had one of the worst Call of Duty campaigns we've ever gotten, and I honestly feel like it's the reason why Black Ops 4 does not even have a campaign. Sure, they have the whole specialist stories thing, but it's not even really a campaign. Like, not even remotely close. I played it once and uploaded it to Nerd Place. Trust me, it is not a campaign. If I had the chance to call it as a two-way tie, then it would be between Black Ops 3 and 4. They're like neck and neck for being the worst out of the Black Ops franchise. But regardless, this is just my opinion, it really doesn't matter all that much. Again, I really just wanna hear your guys' opinions about all this. So with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this Black Ops 4 video. Video. What do you think is the worst Black Ops game in the entire franchise? You can leave a comment letting me know or you can fill out the poll I'll have a link in the description of that and I hope you guys enjoyed this Black Ops 4 video If you guys did it and you want to see some more Black Ops 4 stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later